All right, this old Harbor Freight Jack used to creep down so fast, it wasn't even worth it using. So, if you wanna see how I did it, stick around. I'll show you a little bit of a step-by-step -step and some key things about where to get the parts. Because there's guys that are charging way too much for this stuff. Uh, the parts that I got were like 12 bucks plus shipping. All right, so the question is, can we rebuild this? You know, you guys might say, hey, you know, Harbor Freight Jacks are only 59 bucks. And, you know, just going to get another one. I don't know, when's the last time you went to Harbor Freight? First of all, they don't have any coupons anymore. They used to have coupons. And this Jack, I remember I paid 59 bucks for this Jack. But now a new one, and it rolls fine, it works good. The only thing it does is creep down so the seals have gotten bad inside of it. Um, it a new one is like over a hundred dollars or you know close to 150 with tax and everything or something like that. So I figure, you know, why not let's save a little bit of the earth and rebuild it, see if we can do it. So I got one of these kits here from eBay. And this is Jacko. Um this one's supposed to do all the three ton with the double pump. So hopefully it's right. I didn't get a chance to get the item. You can get the number off the jack somewhere. Still has one, I don't know. Kind of a hot day today, so I thought, well, it'd be a good day to do this. The thing I'm gonna do first is take it off, separate the jack portion. There's this portion right here is the jack, and this is all the hardware. And all it is is basically a hydraulic jack that's designed to be sideways that pushes this lever, and that lever pushes the jack, the whole thing, up in the air. So it looks like there's a cotter key right here. So uh, I could get that from the other side by propping up the, the jack. And then there's four bolts. So you got one, two three, four, and it looks like that probably will take that out. Let me take those off, I'll bring you right back in. All right, so the next thing is, uh, and what's wrong with this jack is it goes down slowly. And typically, this is what they call a cylinder. So, looks like to me they have, this is the fill to fill it up. So when I take this out, glue's gonna go everywhere. You can see that already. So, 
I gotta empty this real quick. I got some new hydraulic oil. I'm just gonna use AW30, 32, regular for hydraulic jet, uh, hydraulics. It's gonna be the same as jack oil. So what I gotta do is find a socket that size or maybe a wrench in a bar. I'm sure it's pretty tight. Let's take that off and see what happens. You know you're a real mechanic when you have that size. That's one and seven eighths. That's a man socket right there. All right, let's see if the earthquake takes it off. All right, so now that the oil's drained out of there, which I was gonna do and I forgot, Let's take this thing off and bring you back in. All right, so now we're gonna do like a mini cleanup. I'm gonna check those seals, make sure they're right. One of the reasons I was apprehensive to rebuild this, I wasn't sure if I could get the right stuff. I don't think these jacks have numbers on them, so let's hope. Right? Let me clean that. Quick little cleanup on this. Now this has a, there's a seal to the outside here. It wasn't leaking there. So it, it's a decision. I could just go ahead and do this one. The seal that was leaking is right here. Because what it does is this goes inside here. And as you build up pressure here, it pushes this seal out. And what was happening is it's going down really slowly. So just from doing hydraulic repair, I've done a little bit of it. Uh, it generally is this main seal right here, which doesn't look too hard to replace. Let's see if it's in the kit. Well, unfortunately, the seal they gave me is not the correct one in that kit. And that's what, one of the reasons I was apprehensive to doing this repair is again, because of that seal probably not being right. So if you can see here, this one's larger. It's a plastic seal. This one is, and then it has an O-ring that's next to it. It kind of jams in there. And what that does is that O-ring holds this seal outward so it can seal when it goes in and out. But it's not the right one. So there's a couple options. Uh, where I live, there's a place called Burnell Hydraulics. You know, I can go over there probably and just buy this seal and then just replace just this one. And the jack will probably work fine. So let me see if I can. I, there's another seal I need for something else. I have another hydraulic jack that's bad and I wanted to replace it. So let me see if I can get that one together. Head over to Burnell and see if I can get the right one. All right, so I found a seal kit for this. Um, it's actually the same as a Performance Tool 1642. CK, that's the kit number, seal kit. That's why they call it CK. 1642 is the same. Basically, the Harbor Freight, this Harbor Freight jack and that jack are the same one. And that one's like $200. So that's why I figured to fix it. I think I can replace it for about 100 bucks. But anyway, this will be a good video material for someone. But anyway, this kit here was $11. So there's a guy, there's a website out there there's a, that sells 
all the jack parts. You know, they wanted 50, almost $50 for just this seal alone. I'll post the thing for that. <laughs> but that was kind of ridiculous. I mean, this is just a neoprene one. And then an O-ring that goes behind it that supports it. It's called an O-ring supported seal. So, anyway, it... What's bad on this jack is all of them usually are going to be generally this problem. Uh, if it's if it if you jack it up and it creeps down slowly, it's usually this seal right here. So the rest of the kit, you know, I'm not even going to bother putting it in. I don't even know if it's it might be all the same parts. I, I imagine it is if this seal is the same, but a lot of the other ones are. I'm not going to chance it. There's no reason for me to take that rest of it apart. It usually doesn't go bad. Usually this seal is the only thing that usually goes bad on jacks. So I'm going to measure the cylinder so you guys can see what I came up with. I had to guess at buying this. I just thought, you know what? I think it looks the same. I bet it is. And I was right. So uh, you should always take it apart and measure it first. I didn't know that. I was just like, hey, let me just try this and see. So if you go down in the groove around one inch I think and I'm gonna give you the millimeters it's 25.61 or 25 25 millimeter is that point try it again 20, it was like 25 or 26 millimeters when I figured, and that's about what that is. So 25.6. Then we'll measure the inside of this. 35. 35 millimeter, 34.8. So 35 millimeter. So, uh, so if yours measures something close to that, then this kit will probably work. Um, I'm giving you these measurements because they don't have them for this kit and this kit's only 12 bucks and like I said for this seal at the other website they wanted $48 I mean come on there's no reason for them to have that much markup I can tell you right now they didn't pay that much for this so anyway like I said I'll put the links in there um, and I'll put the sizes well 35 and 26 is what I went by, you know, roughly. 34.8 millimeters. It's like almost 35. And 30, 26 point, 25 point something, 69 or whatever it was. That's almost 26. So I went by that. So that was, this ended up being the same. So if yours is in that measurement category, I just try it, you know, 12 bucks. Versus everywhere else was like 28 30 you know, The other place was $46 for just the seal alone. Crazy. All right. So with this, two, with this video, you can probably learn how to fix your Harbor Freight Jack. So I bet you this seal, let's look. So if I wanted to take this apart, which this, this seal on a hydraulic unit is like a dust seal. Here's the O-ring. Look at it fits. So I imagine I could take the whole thing apart and I bet you this whole kit is exactly the same. And that's the nice part about the performance tool jack. Even though it's more expensive, they do sell rebuild kits for them. Something to think about. But, you know, if it's the same as the Harbor Freight, I just gave you guys a little bit of a trick there.
Okay, we just got to tighten it up. I double filled it to make sure it was full. It's a little bit hard to do if you take that top panel off and do it. And then I'm just going to drop this thing down in there in place. A little bit of a mess. Sorry. I figured it's a hydraulic job. It's always messy. Everything I've ever done with hydraulics is messy. So this part goes like this. And then these two things here go in. I don't think you guys are in the frame. Yeah, you guys can see a little bit, but let's get you a little closer. Um, so this goes in like this. I gotta put these two. Okay, put one end in first. Yeah. Put these two C clips in. And these should flip over. And then that should go in place. So that was easy. So this one's just as easy as that one, right? Watch it not heat. No, not quite. Not much harder. Pretty easy. And then flip these things over. Oh, actually, I need that thing to be on the other side of there first. I gotta take the bag off. So I gotta put the put this part in there first, and then I can put on these clips again. I gotta take them back off. How yeah, hard they are to get off. If they come up hard, they need to go back on. I'll bring them, bring you back in. I'll reposition it. All right, take three. So I took that this little bar out, and I realized that it goes like this really easily. Hopefully, hopefully it goes really easily. Looks like it would. Kind of line up this little square thing to the hole like that. Then reassemble. I just got to put these four bolts in here in the sides. It's going to take a little persuasion to get these to line up. And I'm guessing I kind of need to maneuver things a little bit. find the right place to pull. Then these will line up. This will go right together. That one in. Should be able to bring in all four. Put this bar back in place like this. And we should be jacking real quick. Alright, so I'll finish putting that together. You can kind of see where I'm going with it. It's got those four bolts to put in, tighten everything up. We'll do that. Just in case you're wondering if it worked, it works perfectly. It doesn't, it used to just creep down really quickly. Now it just stays up. So it's pretty nice. I got a jack. You know, that was $20, what, $20 per part to fix that. So, and really, you could probably do it in less than an hour. Watch after watching the video. Uh, on, it, if you saw how I did it, it's a lot easier. I had no idea. I've never done it before. So, since you've seen me do it, you can probably do it in a lot less time.
All right, so it's all done. Talk to you next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See your comments and make a couple comments. It helps a lot and maybe like some other ones. Uh, hopefully this video will do really well. Um, some of these, I was watching some of the other videos and they weren't that great. And I thought, well, hopefully mine's better. I don't know. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it is. I will see it after I edit it. Um, so I'll talk to you next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See some more car work done. See some more stuff that get fixed. Talk to you next one.